If a criminal group can kill 3,000 of us in broad daylight and suspend the laws of physics and sell this to the people and launch illegal wars and kill over a million Iraqis and lie about WMDs in a premeditated fashion, none of us are safe because this same system is still in control whether we have George Bush, Barack Obama, or somebody like Rick Perry in three years in the White House. It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, geist of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please, save us from the boogeyman Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch us shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away, safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender Ask the second amendment, why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead the fifth when it comes to September I'm gonna yell it from the roof and expose the agenda It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Mario, and you're here for another edition of New World Order Exposed. In today's video, I wanted to go ahead and let you all know why Facebook has added these little emojis when you like a post. Many people think it's just a way to express your emotions, but that's not what it is at all. For those of you who understand that the world is being pushed in the direction of a new world order, you also understand that there is a necessity for them to collect a lot of data and they are amping up their data collection. They want to even start collecting how we react emotionally to certain things. This data will be very crucial for them in the establishment and building of their big brother Orwellian New World Order system, the prison planet that they're trying to build. All right, so I wanted to make this video here to let you all know and uh, talk about this. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that we need to recognize is the uh, creator of Facebook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, joined a secret society. There was a movie called The Social Network, which was actually a, well, kind of true story about him and how he came up with this concept of uh, creating a social network. And if you know, I mean, Facebook has, I think it's like a billion users. It's something insane. And um, there is so, so much activity that goes on on the Facebook social platform. So if you actually watch the movie, though, there's something quite interesting to point out. Mark Zuckerberg actually in the movie uh, gets help technically from uh, what's called the Order of the Phoenix. There's this uh, secret fraternity uh, within Harvard or and um, what he does is he gets help from them. Now, this is truth hidden in plain sight. Uh, Phoenix, for those of you who don't know, is an occult symbol. It's actually a symbol and a representation of the New World Order because they believe that out of the ashes of the old system will come their system. All right, so a little bit of truth there for you. And uh, for those of you who don't know uh, or haven't heard me or anyone talk about this, Facebook acts as a big brother system watching and collecting data. That is why Mark Zuckerberg has become so rich and uh, has so much influence and power in the world today because he joined a secret society and did what they've been trying to do for a long time, which is create this type of uh, data collection system, which will be given then to the elite so that they can better establish their agendas and uh, have a kind of bird's eye view over us and our activities. Okay, so that's what this is all about. Uh, they want to see how we react to certain posts, collect that data, because the mission is data collection. When we're on the internet, they're collecting everything you're doing on your computers, on your phones, what you search, and now they're even going to start collecting your emotional reactions to certain posts, blogs, articles, videos, etc. because this is just more collection for them. And uh, really what they're just trying to do is study us like we're little rats 
in a maze and they want to see how we react because if they can see how we react emotionally, it'll be easier for them to implement their agendas because they're going to anticipate emotional reactions and then be able to fit their agendas accordingly, making us even easier to control with this information and knowledge that they're going to now start collecting from us. And I uh, just wanted to let you know about this. And also, I'll leave this video that my brother in the Lord did, uh, Brother Gons, on the Face Like the Sun YouTube channels. Uh, five ways to beat the surveillance state, how you can beat government and hacker surveillance. So I think it's very important that we start implementing, uh, you know, ways that we can protect our information. Uh, there is a system in place, the Big Brother system here, that seeks to observe us like little mouse, mice, and rats in a, in a maze and... Uh, collect data on us. So let us do what we can to uh, fight back. But at the end of the day, I'm a Christian truther, and uh, that is someone who recognizes that the Bible is accurate and truthful, and the Bible doesn't talk about a humanity coming together to overcome this. Now, I don't discourage that, obviously. I'm not saying, you know, just sit back and let them overtake you. No, not at all. We do what we can do as humans to fight and be a resistance against them. Uh, but prophetically, the Bible speaks of an inability of man to overcome this and a necessity for us to turn to God. All right, so this is just Bible prophecy coming true. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ right now, I would just pray that you would get to know him in uh, intimate relationship with him through the forgiveness of your sins by believing and repenting, um, by turning to him. And uh, yeah, you know, don't live in fear as well. I mean, this stuff isn't to scare you to, uh, you know, live under a rock or try and live like the Amish. Uh, in fact, the Bible tells us that when we see these things occurring, that it's a time to rejoice because this satanic fallen world is going to be brought to an end by our almighty, righteous, amazing God who will come on the day of judgment and make all things right and cast this big brother system, this artificially soon to be intelligent system uh, into the lake of fire with uh, sinners and the devil and everyone else and all things that cause sin in our world. Thanks for taking the time, everyone. This is TVC saying God bless each and every one of you. As always, stay vigilant and fear no evil. Well, thanks for watching my video, everyone. I pray that it was a blessing to you and that you really, really did uh, enjoy it. I uh, just wanted to let you know here, I do a lot more than just the content that you typically see me doing on this channel. This channel is dedicated to exposing the entertainment industry, new age movement, New World Order, and to getting the gospel out to people who normally wouldn't hear it. I have a backup channel that is identical to this, so go ahead and check that out. All the links are always in the description sections. I also have a health channel if you want to go ahead and get healthy, which is God's will for your life. I have a Bible study channel. Check that out and be edified as we study the scriptures together. Also, I have a godly manhood YouTube channel called The Godly Bros, where me and my brother in Christ, Alex, seek to encourage our brothers in the Lord. And also, I have a Christian music channel. I review and share Christian music with you all. And I'm also on Facebook, so make sure that you check that out. I upload different videos there as well. And I'm also on Instagram. So all the links are always in the description sections, and you can find them there. So have a wet, blessed and wonderful day, guys.